Well, the countdown is on for Halloween night, and you can get in the spooky spirit around Southwest Florida. Yeah, four in your corners, Catherine Marsh is showing you a haunted hike you can go on in Cape Coral. Hey, Catherine, did you lose those clowns, I hope? <laughs> I think we lost them for the moment, but I can't guarantee that we lost them for this hit, so I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. But here with Bo, whose family's owned this and run this for 26 years. Mm -hmm. Now, what scene are we going through here? Uh, what are we about gonna, to walk through? This one's called The Collector's Crypt. Um, we we started this entity. His name is uh, The Collector. Oh, we got some quick sand yeah, here. Yeah, I got a little quick sand here. Ooh. Um, but uh, so we started, we started this entity, and um, basically, as you enter this scene, uh, you have a little bit of everything in here, and it's just kind of a, a little display of of all the scares that the collector has collected over the years. And uh, Ooh, yeah, it's a pretty cool little scene, kind of creepy as you kind of walk your way. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> and of course we got the little scares and everything. Um, then we have Andy here, he's our, our only prop that's been here uh, all 26 years. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is and, too much. And he, and he comes with his own little scare too. So, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't imagine this is a lot scarier when it's dark out. When it gets, it's in night yes, out. it definitely takes shape at night. But uh, yeah, it's still scary during it's the day. A, well, yeah, clearly my screaming doesn't say enough. I bet. Yeah. Um, but if people don't necessarily want to get scared, you guys have other options for not so scary things too. We do. Um, Monday night, uh, we actually do a safe trick or treat. We shut down our our golf course. Uh, it's a 19 hole golf course and each hole is sponsored by uh, another um, uh, either a family uh, uh, company or or uh, you know something of that nature and basically the kids can walk through it's free for the kids get some candy um, not get scared and uh, come check that out all right we got both options scary and not scary so Chris Jane what would you guys want to do oh not scary yeah yes, I'll please. do the Monday trick-or-treating thing give me my Kit Kat and I'll be out of there <laughs> I'm going to go hit some hit some uh, golf, golf balls golf or balls. batting cage or something. Uh, so we're going to talk about the price uh, in just a couple of minutes, but I, we're curious, what is the fast pass there? All right, what's the fast pass deal? What can people expect if they get a fast pass? You get a fast pass, basically, uh, uh, it's a quick run up to the front of the line. Um, gen the general mission line, it'll get about an hour to an hour and a half wait sometimes. Uh, so that fast pass just for a few extra dollars gets you up to the front. The wait's maybe 10, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. Nothing, nothing crazy. All right, sounds good. We'll toss it back to you guys. Obviously very popular. Thank you, Catherine. The Haunted Hike will open starting tomorrow night until Halloween night and once it becomes dark. General admission, there you go, $13. The Fast Pass, that will get you to the front of the line, $20. For more information, just visit fox4now.com. All right.